Hi, my name is Hương. I am the artist for the Immigration Mural, a currently feature at National Forum in Comprehensive Immigration Reform in Miami. The mural play a public education, a tool for the public to come in and study on the immigration history of this nation. It carry on the voice from what the Constitution ran us to the newest voice from the politician, the um, congressman who debate on this issue, and also the voice of all the American citizens and the immigrant own different walk of life. My name is Maria Rodriguez. I'm with the Florida Immigrant Coalition and we're hosting a national immigrant integration conference right here in Miami. I got to uh, see the peace mural when there was a presentation at a church and uh, there was a, a small segment of it and Huang's engaging charisma, determination, and her personal story is so powerful and inspiring. I think that we need to have many, many more Huangs, many, many more artists, many more voices to really explore um, issues of valuing, not just immigrants, but valuing all people. Now when you see her work, I think it's, uh, hopefully it'll awaken a lot more artists, a lot more immigrants, a lot more refugees, a lot more women to speak out. And my wish is, um, to bring this book to everywhere to serve the public education. The mural gives the stage for everybody to write their thought, to share their view, and um, communicate with other people in a very peaceful way. My name is Daniel Agnew. I'm a part of an organization called the Dream Defenders. Um, I'm here today because I actually had the pleasure of working with Wong when I was in the state capitol about two months ago. To see Wong today and my brother Jesse, it was really exciting um, to see the work that they've been putting in around immigration. So seeing her art here, um, it's, it was very, very moving to me um, because like I said, it's absolutely beautiful and the work that they put in and, and how, how immaculate and how large of a scale the artwork is, I really feel like it'll touch people in a way where it can resonate with them and actually push them to change things. This is an issue that we're all concerned with and again, to see that Wong has dedicated an entire mural around immigration, again, reflects what the people in our state, in our country are concerned about. Um, I think it's really powerful. I love the mural behind us. With the immigration reform and the chance of the future of 11 million of undocumented immigrants, soon going to be American citizens, it will shape the image of American people in the world. My name is Romeo De La Paz, and I'm a member of the board of directors of the Florida Immigrants Coalition, uh, who has just uh, conducted its uh, annual Congress and again hosting the National Immigrants Integration Conference here in Miami. My hope is uh, we can uh, make this uh, exhibit uh, Miss Hong's work uh, seen by more and more people. This is very educational, this is very relevant, and this will help advocacy for peace and justice. I believe the immigration reform, it happened now, and it will be confirmed in very short future. The history is happening, and it's exciting to see the transformation of the American people. My name is Camilo Mejia. I am an organizer with the Miami Workers Center. I work in the uh, immigrant rights movement. I am also an anti-war activist. I, was, uh, I am a war veteran and resistor to the Iraq War. I'm familiar with her work. Uh, I see that there are some new pieces here that I had not seen. They're amazing. I think it's most appropriate. I mean, Anna is one of the, the, the most committed artists I have met, not just in Miami, but in the United States. I know she brings her her uh, exhibitions to pretty much every progressive conference and uh, activity uh, that there is here, uh, shown her commitment to, to justice and to peace. So I, I, I don't think there could be a more appropriate place than the 
immigrant rights uh, trenches for her to bring her, her art. You were surprised when this mural come to your community. It's a huge book and it's so powerful that when you work through this mural, you figure out the beauty of American. We all look at the same issue. We all have a different view. But after all, we are one. Marlene Bastien, I'm the founder and uh, executive director of Femme Haitienne na Miami, the Haitian women of Miami. We advocate for the rights of all immigrants because we believe that this nation is the most powerful nation in the world because of the contributions of immigrants from all over the world. If you go around this mural, and I was blessed and lucky to uh, view this mural a year ago at the conference for the Veterans for Peace. I was invited to partake in this conference and to help organize this conference. I set my foot down, I said, we're gonna have these mules here. She's an example for all artists around the world to stand up for themselves, stand up, stand up for their art. These mules are important to this conference. So 600 people were coming, they deserve to come and they deserve to be able to see something that is well organized. So thank you, Wang, for giving us the opportunity and showing us the way for trailblazers, trailblazing the path. Hola, yo soy Isabel Martínez, estoy de voluntaria en The Peace Mirror Foundation eh, hace como cuatro meses. Bueno, estoy haciendo, empecé haciendo algo de pinturas, pero ahora la, estuve ayudando con todas las letras que ven en todos los murales, hacer los frames para las pequeñas litografías. Bueno, bastante excitante todo lo que he aprendido. Eh, Bueno, yo soy una inmigrante, yo llegué aquí a los 18 años sin saber qué me esperaba en este país. So, eh, leer todo esto y ver que hay mucha gente apoyando esto tan importante sobre la inmigración me, me da mucha felicidad. So, es muy bonito. Esto me ha enseñado que no solamente es pintar por pintar, sino que puedes hablar y puedes dar un mensaje de esperanza, de paz hacia la gente que, que se siente así como yo me sentía, insegura y sola y con miedo. No solo es sentarse y pintar algo bonito, sino que tenga un significado más profundo, que, que la pintura pueda hablar, puede hablar a, a las personas, que las personas se puedan sentir identificadas, porque yo siento que ellas son libres y ellas escogen a quién llevarse. No es la persona que se pone a mirarlas y dice, ah, yo quiero esta, no. Ella, la pintura escogió antes. I believe so. The mural is a giant book, colorful, inspiration, interactive. My goni, when everybody walk out the mural, when they walk away, they think about this issue. They think about the real immigration reform that we debate on. That makes me happy. My job is done. My name is Omar Mixco. Soy hondureño, capitalino, de la ciudad de Tegucigalpa. Ahora viviendo en México, soy el presidente y ejecutivo de la organización Ministerios La Frontera, dando un servicio social allá en México. El inmigrante, al no tener una salida o al no ver una posible salida, lo primero que te viene a la mente es buscar un país donde puedas encontrar trabajo y cómo sostener tu familia. Creo que el arte es uno de los medios más eficaces para concientizar de lo que está pasando en, más en el asunto de inmigración. Toda persona que pueda apreciar esto tan bello es testigo de lo que se ha vivido en diferentes décadas de la sociedad. Today, almost end, but tomorrow, a new day, a new hope. Think much change. It's not the sun, it's not the moon, and certainly it's not the earth, but us, the human, we need to change. We need to fight harder to achieve the final victory. It's not a victory of the people over all the people, the nation over all the nation, but men over their own evil and weakness. For all of us to rely not of what we divide us, but all of what which united us and that plan for the future with peace and harmony. And thank you for bringing the Peace Mirror to your community.